In this video, I will be talking about the difference between finite and infinite geometric sequence. So let us differentiate the two, the finite geometric sequence and the infinite geometric sequence. So let us divide this and let's compare. So let me show you a geometric sequence. So this is an example of geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. This is because uh, we have, uh, we multiply 2 for each term to get the next term. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, and 64 times 2 is 128. That's why it's a geometric sequence because we have a common number multiplied uh, to each term and another one we have this sequence this is also a geometric sequence so the same terms uh, except that we have uh, a comma and the three dots after 128 and that makes it infinite geometric sequence so what does it mean by that so um, both have common ratio so of course, the common ratio, since it's times 2 for each term, it will be r equals 2, where the r uh, is, means ratio or the common ratio. And then they both have a first term or the a sub 1. So the a sub 1 or the first term is equal to 2 for the finite geometric sequence. And the a sub 1 equals also 2 for the infinite geometric sequence. They, they both have first term. And a sub n, which is the last term, the last term for this, which is the a sub 7, so I will just make it general, the last term, is 128 for finite geometric sequence. And the last term for infinite geometric sequence, or the a sub n, is none. There is no last term for this. As you can see, after 128, there's comma and three dots. It means it continues infinitely. So it will keep on multiplying to uh, until uh, and so on so there's no ending of multiplying to where in the in the finite geometric, se geometric sequence it will just end up to 128 but still it is still geometric sequence because it follows the same uh, uniform pattern it's times two while infinite geometric sequence it it follows the pattern infinitely by multiplying two sometimes the infinite geometric sequence is like this so uh, we have uh, three dots and a comma before the two as well as three dots and a comma after 128 so what does it mean by this it means there is no first term so in the previous one we have a first term too but here we have we don't have a first term but why did we start from 2 if there's no first term? It, this is just uh, this is an infinite geometric sequence where it is just showing a part of the infinite geometric sequence. So it's just a portion from 2 to 128. But actually there are still numbers before 2. So you can, uh, ha you can divide by 2 to know what's before the 2. So it means before the 2 is 1. And before 1 is 1 half and, and so on. So... Those are the, uh, the terms where we cannot say that they are the first term because there are infinitely many number before 2 and there are infinitely many number after 128. And also there is no last term for this infinite geometric sequence. And so that's it. So that's the difference between finite and infinite geometric sequence. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.